Welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Reida. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you are returning and you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Make sure you turn your post notification on so you know every single time I post. And make sure you, you know, you just smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Do all of that. So you guys, I am back this week. I was supposed to upload a video last week, Sunday, and I didn't for two reasons. First reason, I was under the weather. I haven't been feeling well. I'm, I'm still under the weather, but I'm slowly but truly recovering. And the second reason, which actually happens to be the primary reason as to why I didn't upload a video last week, is because I have been doing my finals. And when I tell you guys I've been stressed, that's an understatement. I have been beyond stressed. Okay? I just wanted to kind of let you guys know what has been going on with me in terms of my program and to kind of give you guys an update on what to kind of expect from me in the next few weeks on my channel. Um, just to kind of let you guys know what I've been going through in school. I've been writing my final exams for the last two weeks. I've been in the midst of writing my final exam. But my exams were actually split up into two areas. One was the practical area and the second area was written. The practical area came first and I did that last week, Tuesday, and it was for three hours. When I tell you guys I was panicking, I was panicking, which is crazy because for me, anytime I hear the word exam, anytime I hear the word test, I go into this place of like anxiety, okay? Even if I'm gonna ace it, I'm still gonna panic. It's just, I guess it's kind of like a ritual of mine. Panic, do it, ace it, and hooray. As I was saying, I was panicking. That was last week, Tuesday, and that was for three hours. We basically had to go through everything. That included doing venipuncture, that included doing ECG, that included right stain, gram stain, throat swabs, that included identifying white blood cells under the microscope. I was panicking. I mean, I had no reason to really panic because I do lab work every single day for about two, three hours. Let me know if you guys are like that, if you guys are similar to me, because there's people like that. I was panicking for no reason because once the exam came, the practical aspect came and I was a little nervous for like the first five, 10 minutes of it. But as soon as the ball started rolling, I was like, mm, okay, so this is what I, you know, let's get it moving, you know? I still haven't received my results back from the practical exam, so I'm still waiting on that. And then, after the practical was done, I had to prepare for the written part of my final exam, which I actually did yesterday, because today's Friday and yesterday was Thursday. So I did that yesterday and it was for three hours. Now, when I tell you guys, just, just pray for me, pray for your girl and wish me luck because... Although I studied and I've been studying for the final exam for about two months now, I don't know. I felt like a lot of the questions that were on there were not questions that I thought were going to be as important. So I kind of overlooked them. Um, I don't know if you guys are like this. Let me know if you guys are like this. So I'm not like a normal person. So when I get a test, I have a habit of flipping all the way to the last page of the test and then starting from the back and moving my way forwards because I realize a lot of the times when you start from the front it just gets harder and for me I would rather start with the hardest part and then just work my way down or um, work my way up and work my way from the back because I know it's going to get easier from there I'm a weirdo like that I don't go I have a problem with order I think I think I have a problem with order yeah I think I do I do yeah I'm convinced I'm convinced because I can't I can't do anything in order I'm just I do things, I like to do things that are very, like, I look over and I know, like, my classmates are just going from page to page, and I'm hopping from page 5 to page 3, then going to page 10, and then coming back to page 7. Yeah, I don't know if you guys are like that, let me know. But anyways, when I tell you guys, the written was hard as hell. It was hard as hell. A lot of the questions were based on the kidney and the endocrine system, which... I didn't really think was going to be a major focus, so I didn't really pay much attention to that unit. I assumed, um, for some reason, I assumed the hematology unit would have been more important 
seeing that I'm going to be a medical laboratory technician and I'm going to be in the field. So I would have naturally assumed things like order of draw, tubes, uh, color of tubes, departments that handle the tubes, chemistry, biology, sorry, chemistry, microbiology, um, coagulation. So I'm praying and praying and praying and praying. I pass this final exam because mind you, in order for me to pass, I need to get a 70. That's like... I'm just gonna pray that's it i'm just gonna pray y'all pray for me pray for me y'all just just pray for your girl okay? so now that that's done my final exam is done both parts written and practical i am now free for the weekend so i'm not completely done the program what's happening as of monday i am going to be starting a six week placement as of monday the placement is you get placed at a lab an actual lab where you're going to be there from nine to five dealing with real patients putting into work what i've been learning this past year so i'm excited about that the best part about it is the placement where i got placed is literally two minutes away from my house it's a two minute drive if i wanted to walk it's probably a seven minute walk but because it's kind of cold most likely i will drive my ass to the plaza it's the plaza right beside my house when i tell you guys i am super duper excited you have no idea i am so happy i didn't get placed somewhere far um so i'll be there for the next six weeks once that's done my placement is completely done and hopefully i pass the practical and the written um exam i will be officially done with the program so yay me i am excited so now what i wanted to share with you guys in terms of my channel is in the next six weeks uh, i will be sharing my experience at placement with you guys like i normally upload my videos every sunday so i come on here every single sunday and i normally do upload a video so because i'm going to be starting placement this uh up this coming monday my next video that's going to be on my channel will be up on sunday of that week so on sunday's video i'm going to tell you guys exactly what my experience was like for the first week of my placement hopefully i'm gonna see if i can try to you know sneak my phone in there see if it's possible for me to kind of record to kind of show you guys what goes on at an actual lab but obviously you know i can't be recording videos or taking any videos of any patients so granted there would be even if there was a patient in my video obviously you guys wouldn't see their face or anything like that for confidentiality reasons but i'm gonna see if that's even allowed if it's permissible cross my fingers it is allowed and it is permissible so i can bring you guys along with me so you guys can see what my experience is like at placement for my first week and then the video that follows that following sunday will be my experience at placement for my second week and then so on and so forth for six weeks so stay tuned i am going to be you know taking you guys on this journey with me of showing you guys exactly what my placement is and if i'm facing any struggles or any issues obviously placement is going to be a lot different than being in school because in school my patients were all my classmates and i was their patient they were my patients so it's completely different because you're familiar with the environment you know you're familiar with there was only about 11 of us in class so every single um classmate of mine was my patient at one point or a few times throughout the year and so you become very familiar with their veins and how their veins move uh, but when you're in a real life setting it's different wow. because you know you're going to be dealing with elders you're going to be dealing with children you're going to be dealing with middle-aged people so you're going to be dealing with people with small veins veins that collapse quickly there's all sorts of people but i'm looking forward to that because i need the experience obviously so just stay tuned just keep an eye on this channel just keep an eye on this channel because i'm gonna come through with a lot of information and if you guys ever have any questions for me don't hesitate to drop down a comment and i I'm so quick to respond back. Usually I respond back within 24 hours. Okay, anyways, before I go, guys, make sure you subscribe and you like and you comment. And you know what? Gives me one of these. Just just go ahead, give me one of these. And um, what else? I'm so excited. Like I am just truly excited for my journey. Um, and more importantly, I'm excited to take you guys along with me because well, you know what i find super strange that medical laboratory technicians and technologists are the fourth largest healthcare 
providers and yet somehow there's not enough of us on youtube and it's like what's going on oh no let me know y'all drop me down a comment i'll see you guys next week where i share my experiences with y'all bye